A cake is not a lie, or is it? <laughs> Welcome back to Factor Fictional, the show where we look at cool tech and science from your favorite movies, video games, books, and comics, and ask, is this really possible? And if not, why not? This week, well, it's a special one, my friends. I tracked down Caleb from Hackaday to show me how real the portal gun actually is. But first, I wanted to know what you thought. At Megan F from Twitter says, other than hold potatoes, what do the pointy things do? And then at Just Kimali says, I want to know if you can actually have a talking potato. Gee, thanks for taking this seriously, you guys. How are you holding up? Critically acclaimed as a truly original and fun game back during its release in 2007, Portal introduced a darkly comedic story with puzzling physics. Caleb Kraft of Hackaday, being the curious hacker that he is, recreated his own handheld portable device. But how capable is his version? Let's find out. Welcome to the show, Caleb. Hi, nice to be here. So what made you create your own model of the portal gun? We were trying to brainstorm some cool ideas to put out on the web and, and kind of show off a little bit and get some eyes on Hackaday. And uh, one of them said, wouldn't it be cool if we could create a portal gun that works? And obviously we couldn't make a real portal gun. And I said, you know, of course, no, we can't do that. And he said, what about a gravity gun? And I said, well, of course we can't do that either. Well, wait a minute. We might kind of be able to do a gravity gun um, since there's you know, the magnetic levitating stuff out there. So it does take the, 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 the gravity aspects of the portal gun and kind of makes that a possibility then. Yeah, yeah. So can you walk me through the construction process? I just bought a portal gun prop. And then I bought one of the magnetic levitating globes that uses um, a coil and a little distance sensor and stuff like that to levitate a globe with a magnet in it. And I tore that apart and I mounted the coil and the sensor up here in the top arm. I had to reinforce it all and I fed the wires all through and the circuit boards are all mounted inside here. I cut the globe apart and put the magnets from the globe inside this companion cube that I made and it levitated. So you could feasibly actually hold a potato in the gravity gun were you to add the magnets to the potato? Yes, <laughs> it would have to be a light potato and you'd have to hold really, really still. That was my initial plan, was to hold the gun while it levitated something, but unfortunately, any movement uh, messes up how the levitating works, and it would either drop it, or it would smack up into the, the magnet in the arm. So we've talked a bit about parallel universes, wormholes, and time travel in prior episodes, so how were this to be an actual portal gun, how would that differ? Somehow, they've, they've done these tests that show that particles can be in two places at once, and, um, you know, in, in my mind, that seems like the closest thing that would possibly, uh, you know, be similar to this, at least, you know, in our current technology. Portals have been around for a while. This was just a really new and interesting way of presenting them in a game. How long did it take you to put this whole thing together? Really only about two or three days. Since I bought things that already existed and used them in a way that they weren't initially meant to be done, all I was doing was grafting them together. And that was kind of the goal, was to make it as accessible as possible. I'm guessing you have some pretty good comprehensive instructions over on Hackaday? Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks so much, Caleb. And where can people find your work online? At hackaday.com. That's where everything I make goes and everything uh, my coworkers make go. So I'm going to give this one a big <laughs> woo! Anthony Carboni's here. Hello, everybody. everyone. Where did you get this gun from? Uh, this was made by NECA Toys, and you can grab it on uh, BigBagToyShop.com or it's on ThinkGeek sometimes. Amazon, it's 99 bucks. It's 99 best, bucks? Yeah, it's the best thing. Is it the best thing? Yeah, because you can do, this is Shell, and then you can do also Atlas and Peabody. Ooh. Yeah, right? Ooh. So I think this is actually the same gun that Caleb had, except without all like the cool... Without all the cool that things yeah. that like somebody who knows how to make stuff would add to it. Exactly. Yeah. This is straight out of the box for me. <laughs> so now, were you a big Portal fan when it came out? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Portal Portal 2 is probably in my top 10 of all time. Nice. Yeah, for sure. Actually, I threatened to fire the camera guy because he hadn't played Portal. Sean... <laughs> Sean. So anyway, what kind of personal relationship do you have with GLaDOS? Uh, I think the same as everybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, antagonistic, but also I just want her approval. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that may, that may just be me though. Like you. You I want just her want her to, to like nice me things. so bad. Mm -hmm. which, which probably explains a lot about my, uh, my dating history. <laughs> 
at the type of people I wind up with. So as much as we both want this gun to actually be real, uh, the science just isn't there yet. Says who? Says science. Ugh. So we're gonna have to give this one a big fat fictional, unfortunately. Don't, I'm not a potato. I'm, I'm just not a potato. You, you can turn that off now. Can I start calling you my little potato? We're done here. <laughs> hey, do you want your face on Fact or Fictional? Send me a video response letting me know what tech you want to see right here on the show. And if it's tricky enough, you might see yourself on a future episode. Until next week, I'm Veronica Belmont, and this is Fact or Fictional on Tech Feed. Be sure to subscribe to see all of our brand new shows. I'll see you next time. No! Look, I can do a first-person shooter character it's run. Like how long do you think it'll take before we either conclusively figure it out or conclusively write it off? So that's a, that's a good question. And I think one of the main factors that hasn't really been brought into this debate is, you know, life needs water, it needs nutrients, it needs protection, but the fourth thing it needs is time.